Paying federal taxes should get you access to federal programs like food stamps or SSI, right? What if it didn't? Our Joe St. George explains how the debate over fairness is taking center stage at the Supreme Court this week and how one case over a few thousand dollars could change policies for millions. By now, it's clear the country won't be adding any more stars to the flag anytime soon. Efforts to make Washington, D.C., as well as Puerto Rico, official states have stalled in Congress. However, while D.C. citizens still have access to many government programs and citizens of all the 50 states enjoy, Puerto Ricans are ineligible for many. Take, for instance, Supplemental Security Income, SSI. It's a program that helps Americans with illnesses or disabilities get by. Those who live in D.C. qualify for it, but those who live in Puerto Rico do not, even though people in both places pay federal taxes. Why? When Congress passed SSI decades ago, they didn't include the island. Well, the debate over the rights of Puerto Ricans will be front and center at the Supreme Court this week. The case is called the United States versus Fayeo Madero. Oral arguments are on Tuesday. It's about a man named Jose Luis Fayeo Madero. In 2013, he moved from his home of 28 years in New York back to Puerto Rico, and when he became ill, he filed for SSI benefits. If he moved to, let's say, Florida, it would have been no problem. But when the Social Security Administration learned where he moved, they cut him off from the program and demanded he pay back $28,000 worth of benefits he had already received. The Biden administration is split on this issue. The president has issued statements calling for Puerto Ricans to be covered by government programs. There can be no second class citizens, he said. But President Biden's Justice Department has done the opposite, actually arguing against Puerto Ricans in court. The Constitution vests Congress, not the courts, with responsibility responsibility for making appropriate changes, attorneys wrote in legal briefs. While the high court is not expected to issue an opinion on this case for months, the outcome could dramatically change what Puerto Rico's three million plus residents are entitled to, potentially making government programs even more costly to American taxpayers since more people would be eligible to enroll. In Washington, I'm Joe St. George.